if I had to choose one article of clothing to wear for the rest of my life, it would honestly probably be a robe. I know I've talked about this in another video, but one of the first things that I like to do when I wake up before I do anything else is to drink two full glasses of water. And this is just to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the day. So after I've had a little bit of water, I like to put my contacts in and brush my hair and wash my face. Lately I've been using Glossier's Milky Jelly Cleanser and I've really been liking it. Um, it's super gentle and it also does a really good job of removing makeup if you have any on or you have any on from the night before. I usually use two pumps and you can apply this on wet or dry skin but I usually like to apply it just to dry skin. This is not a foaming cleanser so if you're used to a foaming cleanser it might take a little while to adjust. It also doesn't irritate my eye area. I can like take it directly over top of my eyes. It doesn't burn or hurt them. So that's great. So I usually massage that into my face for about a minute and then you can rinse it off with warm or cool water, whatever you prefer. Now that I've washed my face, it feels extremely smooth and soft. And I'm just going to apply a toner. And this is witch hazel that I have transferred to a little glass apothecary bottle. I like putting my toner in these little bottles because it eliminates the waste from any cotton balls or cotton pads. Witch hazel is like my favorite thing ever. I actually use it on a lot of different things from burns to cuts to tattoos as aftercare. So that is pretty much my skincare routine in the morning. I don't do anything crazy. It's incredibly simple. I just use a mild cleanser and a toner. I like to wait a little bit before I apply my moisturizer just to kind of let my toner do its job. So I usually will change my clothes and then I will go back and apply my moisturizer. I talked about this in another one of my videos, but this is absolutely my favorite moisturizer right now. So I just put a couple of dots on my face and then work that into my skin. And my skin should pretty much be moisturized for the rest of the day. I usually wait to brush my teeth until after I eat, but I am going to show you guys some of my favorite oral hygiene products. I always use these bamboo toothbrushes because the handle is biodegradable. You can buy them on Amazon. I actually really need a new one and I just ordered some last night. I also use one of these copper tongue scrapers. They last a really long time and I think they do the best job. This is my favorite natural toothpaste and I use this very frequently. Right now I'm actually using Sensodyne because I am whitening my teeth, but in general, this is my go-to toothpaste. I actually pulled out a new one to show you guys because my current one is in a very sad state. For mouthwash, I've really been into this natural mouthwash by Olas. There are no harsh chemicals and the bottles are completely recyclable and refillable, which I think is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing a giveaway with like a basket of some of my favorite natural products, but we can talk about all of these things in more depth in another video. And to floss, I actually use a water pick, which is right over here. And this just eliminates any waste from floss or those little floss picks. And I think it does a better job. So it's basically just like a high pressured water flosser. For breakfast, um, I usually like to change it up depending on my mood. And I am all about cooking yourself delicious homemade breakfast. Um, but sometimes I like to keep it really simple. Today, I think I'm just going to make some oatmeal for myself. And I'm also going to show you my favorite, favorite, favorite way to drink coffee in the morning. Um, my boyfriend actually roasts all of his own beans at home. So it's incredibly fresh and really good. And even though I'm not a huge coffee drinker, I've been really into just like tasting the different roasts. Every batch is a little bit different. So that's unique and fun. Um, he drinks his coffee black but I am not about that life. Like, it is just too bitter for me. So I need to like 
add a little bit of flavor to it. So I'm going to show you my favorite vegan way to drink iced, creamy, delicious coffee. And I'm going to make that for you guys while my oatmeal is cooking. To make my oatmeal, I just brought two cups of water to a boil. And I am using one of my favorite um, gluten-free rolled oats. And I'm going to add one cup of oatmeal. I'm also going to add some pecan pieces and some cherries from the farmer's market that are so good. Gonna give that a little stir and let that cook for about 15 minutes. If you guys like hot cereal type breakfast foods, then I also made another video a while back about a breakfast quinoa if you wanna try something a little bit different. Um, so now we are going to make some homemade cashew milk and I actually made a video about this a couple years ago, um, but this is something I do in the morning, probably every like three or four days because we go through milk very quickly. And I do not buy store-bought nut milk anymore, I just make it myself at home because it's really easy and I think it tastes a lot better. All you need to do to make this is soak one cup of nuts overnight in some water. So this is one cup of raw cashew pieces. I actually buy the pieces because they are cheaper than buying whole raw cashews. So now we are going to drain these. So you can go ahead and add your nuts to a high powered blender. This is a Vitamix. You're also going to add two cups of filtered water. And then you just wanna put the lid on and blend these on high until all of the cashews are completely pulverized. This probably takes about 40 seconds. Once that's blended, I'm going to add two more cups of um, filtered water. I'm also going to add a little bit of organic cane sugar and a pinch of sea salt, as well as a little bit of vanilla extract. And then you wanna blend that all together again on high for about another 40 seconds. Your milk should be really bubbly and foamy at the top. And now I'm just pouring it into a glass container. This is actually just an old juice container and these are like the perfect size in my opinion. And then you can just screw a lid on and store this in your refrigerator for about a week. You can use this in place of milk in recipes or in cereal or however you usually use milk, but I promise you this is absolutely the best milk ever in the entire world. So I do have some milk left over in my blender and I'm just going to pour that into a mason jar. I had to taste it because it's so good when you first make it and it's just so creamy with just a very, very, very slight amount of sweetness. I already have another milk in my refrigerator because I made it yesterday, but it's totally fine because we will use both of them very quickly. So to make my iced coffee drink, I just filled a mason jar to the top with ice. And this is Nick's coffee station, which I built for him. And he prefers to make coffee with a French press. He actually made this earlier this morning because he woke up really early to go ride his bike. Um, but I asked him to save me a little bit so I could make this drink. So I'm just going to pour the coffee over my ice. So I have my coffee filled about halfway. And I'm going to fill it almost to the top with my cashew milk. And then I'm going to add just a very small touch of organic raw blue agave. Just that much, just a little bit. And now I'm just going to stir it all together. This is also really good with raw honey if you are not vegan, but this is my vegan version and it is equally delicious. So let's try it. I just drank like half of it because it's so good. And over here we have our finished oatmeal. So I'm just going to add that to a bowl. Also going to add just a tiny bit of brown sugar. And since I have a little cashew milk left over, I'm just gonna add it in here because again, I could use this on everything, it's so good. And this is about the time where I would vent to Nick about all of the horrible things that happened to me at work last night. I'm just kidding, work is actually not that bad. And that is pretty much a typical morning for me. I would love to hear what you guys do in the morning, if you have any special practices or routines or rituals 
then totally leave those in the comment section as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will talk to you very soon in my next video.